guys. I uh, got a pretty good fishing video here for you. Uh, caught some fish in some pretty bad conditions. Um, got a real special bait I want to show you at the end um, that caught 90%, caught all the fish but one. So uh, um, stay tuned and I'll show you this bait. Um, it's one that catches a little bit of everything. So uh, I think it's one you need in your tackle box. Uh, I hope you liked the video and at the end I'll break it down and show you what we caught them on. Thank you guys for watching. If you to the right, right there about 20 feet over. We'll go over that way. That's over closer to the main channel. It feels like a pretty decent one, but it's hard to tell with these eight foot rods. fish feel bigger than what they are. Last week I thought I was catching all stripers and largemouth. Just a little bit to keep my crankbaits from tangling. I believe we got a striper. Yep. Little one.
through.
Video. Uh, as you can see, we caught a variety of fish, uh, striper, uh, some pretty nice crappie, uh, bass, uh, a little bit of everything there. Uh, didn't catch white perch this time, um, but uh, the fish this time of year, fall, winter, they're, uh, they're moved out in the creek channels. Um, on your bigger creeks, it'll be midways to the mouth of the creek channel, um, out, um, and then on the main channel mainly, um, they're relating to the, the creek channel itself and, uh, and they'll move up on flats and stuff and feed. Uh, but you're not, I, don't, I typically don't find them real shallow. Uh, I find them in the 12, 15 foot range of the water column. They might be in 30 or 40 feet of water, but uh, they're just out there chasing the bait and the bait's on the main channel right now because that's the warm uh, water. So that's where we're finding the fish. Uh, and they'll be like that until probably spring. Um, and they're gonna be at the lower end of the lake. Um, you know, cause like I say, that's where the water temperatures are the most stable and the warmest. Now there are other places you can catch them, you know, not all fish are down there. Uh, what's the old saying? 90% of the fish are in 10% of the water. Um, and that's pretty true. Uh, but they're, they're going to be fish that stay in, you know, the rivers up in the rivers up near dams and stuff all year round. It's just a food source. But the majority of the shad are going to be in the lower end of the lake and that brings a lot of the fish with them. Um, now there's other areas that have warmer water. If you've got a hot hole on your lake where you've got a, a coal-fired, you know, uh, power plant or a nuclear power plant, and they're using water to cool the or make, you know, uh, uh, power, um, those warm water discharges are going to be good places to fish too. So that will draw a lot of fish and a lot of shad. Um, and then another one that people don't think about a lot is a sewer treatment plant. When they treat the sewer and release the water back into the lake after they remove all the solids and stuff, um, the water released into the lake wherever they're releasing it is warmer than the lake water. So those areas will be, um, will hold fish. Um, so, um, Check, check those out too. And, uh, um, you know, you have to do a little research on Google maps and find out where the sewer treatment plants are. And, um, but generally it'll be a smaller area, you know, that'll hold the fish there. Um, but, um, it'll, it'll still hold quite a bit and, uh, and they're good places to fish. So, um, check those out too. But, uh, anyway, on to the fishing trip. Um, Wind was brutal, like 12 to 15 miles an hour the whole time. And uh, I could get out of it in, in the creek channels a little bit. You know, I could move back into the mouth. But if I moved back a little bit further than the mouth, the fish weren't there. Um, they're, they're from the at least midways out of the creek channel to the main channel. And 
more or less in the mouth to the main channel and um, and hanging on the ledges and the flats of the main channel on the sunny side of the lake. Uh, went over to the uh, southern side of the lake that don't get as much sun. It was 1.4 degrees colder water um, than it was on the other side of the lake. So temperature makes a difference. Um, and baits made a difference today. I, I started out with uh, uh, Rapala RS Shad on one side and um, and then I had a Berkeley Flicker Shad on the other. The Berkeley Flicker Shad and the Shad Color did catch one fish today, but for whatever reason, they didn't like the Berkeleys today. So, um, and my theory on that is, is the wind and the, the last time they bit the Berkeleys pretty good, uh, but it was dead calm pretty much. This time the wind, you know, was whipping like one, one foot, 18 inch waves, you know, uh, it's white capping out there. So the light refraction down in the water probably did something to those baits that they didn't like. So, uh, but the rappels worked both times and the main ones that worked, I had a new one, new rappel that worked this time. Um, so I wanted to share them both with you. Um, again, the RS shad and the shad color with that little red stripe was killer bait. I think I caught the striper and might've been the biggest crappy on this one. Um, but another one that worked was the Rapala Shad Dancer. Um, and if you can see it, it's a, it's got a little pink stripe, very similar to the other one. It's got a, coming through the water, it's got a lot wider wobble. I mean, it, you know, does that. And this one's a little, it's a tighter, you know, it's a, just a, a little, you know, a real tighter wobble, but this one's got a real wide wobble, but they, they bit them both, uh, equally well. So, uh, going to go back out next time and try these again and, um, see, but I'm totally impressed with them. I'll show you a couple more that I tried that I thought would do good. Tried the Rapala Shad Wrap, um, and this is kind of a shad color. I know they're feeding on shad right now, so that's what I was trying to replicate was uh, shad baits. So um, didn't get a bite on it. So switched over, went to a RS Shad and a shad color. Don't have the red stripe. It's got a little more metallic look to it, didn't get a bite on it. Um, so for whatever reason, and they like those um, less metallic shad colors right there. And the Berkeleys are kind of got a little metallic sheen to them. So uh, I think that's why they weren't biting those, but we'll try them again next time we go out too. And uh, the weather conditions tomorrow when I'm gonna go our forecast to be a lot better. Uh, wind's supposed to just be like three to six, I think. So should be a whole lot better. I almost went home, glad I didn't, but I almost went home on this fishing trip. I got to the boat landing and the wind was howling. Wasn't a, another vehicle in the parking lot. Nobody fishing from the bank, nobody fishing in a boat. And uh, I thought, well, it's going to be one of them days. And, um, but I was there and I said, well, I'm a, I'll give it a little bit of an hour. So put in, got out there and within five minutes, I caught the striper. And then uh, he messed me up because I uh, was in an area that didn't, wasn't holding a lot of fish right there. But I worked it for about an hour trying to catch more stripers. And, and if you striper fish, you know they're there one minute and then they're gone and then you can't find them. Um, they don't stay in one place very long at all. So uh, you gotta keep looking for them. So, uh, but I looked too long in that one area and then I moved down to where I was gonna originally fish. And that's where I found the bass and the crappie and they were they were there. So um, I think if I'd have went down there to start with, I'd have probably, the wind 
picked up on me a little bit more after I kept, caught the striper too. I could have got a little bit more of a break from the wind and might could have caught a few more. And I left the fish biting, honestly. I, I got tired of dealing with the wind. Uh, like I say, there were waves crashing over the front of the kayak at times. And uh, um, so I just, I really got tired of fighting the wind and just went on to the house, but uh, uh, left the fish biting. So, uh, but we'll go again on a better day and uh, or better wind day anyway. Might not be a better fishing day. And we'll try all these baits again and uh, and then we'll report back and see. But I think these Rapalas, that's three times in a row they've been a hit. So um, I'm anxious to try them on a different lake too. Uh, uh, probably won't make it to a different one this week. Um, like I said, i got a lot of things going on, so I've got to um, get those taken care of. But Anyway, I'm being long-winded, so I'm going to cut this video off. I uh, hope you like it, and, uh, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Appreciate it.